inspired thinker. Uh, it's Friday. It's the day after my COVID booster as I record this. I know you're going to get it on a Wednesday. Uh, but I decided to record this today because I am going to be immersed in one of my favorite bubbles, which is the Royal Roads Executive Coaching Bubble. On the day you receive this newsletter, I will be with the glorious cohort and supporting them and their final capstone of coaching um, before we launch them into certified executive coach status. So I wanted to share this video today and what I'm thinking a lot about, which is my value of freedom. So I've decided I'm going to play with these values um, and share with you kind of real time, like literally real time ways that I am leaning on my values right now. And the freedom value, I was thinking a lot about it because I'm 55 and there's that whole thing in the, maybe it's outdated now, freedom 55. I don't know if anybody gets freedom 55 in the financial context, but that's how we, I think, anyway, I was conditioned to think about freedom was financial freedom. And certainly, yes, there's a component of my freedom value around finances that I am working on. And it's more than that. For me, freedom is about releasing myself of a whole bunch of mental and emotional clutter or baggage, whatever you want to call it. And I was reflecting on the last few workshops that I've done not necessarily dare to leads, but um, whether I'm teaching coaching to managers or dare to lead or other facilitation, I often start with the question, what do you need to let go of? What do you need to let go of? And it's fascinating. I leave the question very open. Um, and what comes up often in the responses is things like perfection, my to-do list, expectations of myself, expecting to get this right, <clears throat> letting go of judging myself, letting go of perfection. Maybe I said that already. And it's, I think, a very powerful question. And every time I see those themes coming up, I think about how much freer we could be if we gave ourselves permission to let go. So I'm really accessing my freedom value by giving myself permission to let go of some things. And that has really allowed me to uh, just reimagine things quite broadly, quite differently. And it's just brought me so much lightness for one, mental clarity, because it's like these tethers. And once I let go of these tethers, then ah, the clarity, the where to go next, what step to take, how to show up in that conversation, whatever it is, when we let go of things we're holding on to, and these are most of the time self-imposed things that we're holding on to, when we release them, we can set ourselves free. Nobody else needs to bring freedom. I am very clear that I have the opportunity and the ability to create freedom from within. And that might change how I show up externally, what that means in terms of my behavior, my decision-making, whatever that is, but I need to set myself free first. So how do you want to set yourself free? We're coming to the end of a year. We're coming to the end of 2023. 2024 is just around the corner. So how do you want to set yourself free as you arrive into 2024? What will you let go of in your thoughts and feelings and leave them here in 2023? Leave them behind. 
decide that they, those thoughts and feelings are no longer serving you. So you're going to let them go and release them, leave them here in 2023. So let's see, friends, how we can free ourselves. Um, I can't wait to hear the stories. I can't wait to hear what you're letting go of. And I look forward to being with you in 2024. I am cooking up some stuff, uh, all to be revealed over the weeks ahead. Um, so stay tuned. There's going to be some invitations to help me co-create what's coming in 2024. And I've got that creative juice because I've let go of a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you for being with me on this journey. You inspire me. Oh, I believe in all of us and our ability to do this. All right. Take care of yourselves.